Hello ladies and gentlemen, my, my name is Inkers and I'm from MyJS Electronics and we have a fault. This guy in here has got a charge, but he's got no light. So today I thought I'm going to bring you guys along to see how I more or less fault find uh, these kind of uh, systems. So, not this kind of system, this kind of drive. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to be stripping this that bad boy down, have a look inside what is causing this to, to not uh, to light up. We're not going to be going into major like tests and things like that. I'm just going to strip this guy down, I'm going to show you what's inside, how it's been uh, uh, it's, uh, pretty much glued together and what, which part is which and what which part to look out for if you are trying to find out what is wrong with it. So uh, we are going to be doing a comparison with a good drive and we're going to have a one bad drive so we're going to be sort of uh, uh, testing things around and then and I thought it would be a great thing to bring you guys along to see how I do that. So uh, so yeah that's pretty much what we can do today so without further ado let's get cracking. <music> Here we are, so uh, let's power this thing in and see what's going on with this one in here, so uh, yes, yes, so let's plug our power cables in. So let's power it up and find out if it's, what really is going on, if I can find the right plug in here. So unprepared. So, here we go, as you can see. I got the charge in it, and where's the power part of the uh, block is working, but I've got absolutely no power to the actual unit itself. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a uh, strip down. Let's have a look inside. What is going on? I think there's a couple of options. It could be going down there. Is uh, Power to the actual uh, processing board is not happening, and processing board could be still all right, but there's no power going to it. And quickly, we're gonna check it. So, here we go, just take the cover off. So, yeah, I think we need to go this way. One thing is quite good about this one it, it is very easy to strip because I've done it a couple of times before. And it is very easy to strip. So yeah, then we do this, these guys in here. So let's take the other side off as well. We have to be careful because we still, we still got charge in there. As you can see, we still got charge in there. So we have to be careful touching things. So uh, that was a bit of a thing here. Something, come on. Don't do this to me now. There you go. Is that coming off now? Oh, come on. Should be just straightforward. Here we go. So, first inspection. Here we go. Cautious high voltage. Don't touch it, because we still, as you can see, if it zooms in, it's got some charge into it. So, uh, so what we got in here, we've got two boards, and because so this guy in here is the processing processing board. So uh, from initial, I think I have spotted the problem. I'm not sure you can see it. So you can see down there, the chip is blown in there. As you can see in there. That looks. Like we're gonna strip that off in a minute. I'll show you how the strip it all is. It looks like. That looks like it's blown and that, that pretty much would indicate quite straightforward that somebody has, there's a high possibility somebody put uh, 415 volts into it and just pretty much shorted the whole thing out. So uh, yeah, so let's... Uh, you move down. Just need to make sure... I'll tell you one thing, we're gonna, I'm going to wait till that light completely goes out so I don't really short a bit more out. We'll be back in a second. Yeah, I'll be back. So, uh, charge gone. So, let's continue. Always, if you do the stripping, make sure there's no charge in those capacitors. Because it might give you a nibble. Tickle a little bit when you touch it. So, here we go. So, uh, I've done that. So, he's got a plug in the middle. So, you can really unplug 
the whole unit. So this is what your processor looks like in actual the servo. So a whole lot of things going on in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to check and make sure that this board is fine <coughs> by using the other servo. <coughs> so, uh, so yeah, as you can see in there, looks like somebody blew that chip in there. I'm not going to bother fixing that. Just going to take the parts out of this, what works very well, what doesn't, and the rest just goes straight in the bin. I can quickly show you as well the heat sink if you ever had a... Uh, overheating problems with your uh, what's it called with your uh, amplifier and you know that this is not caused because of the high temperatures and things like that it means your heat sink is not really connecting properly or it needs, it needs a bit of a extra work for it so and to fix that you can actually get this heat, heat sink paste to re-glue re this back to this thing so sort of a so, is there more? Oh, there's more. There's one more in there. There we go. So, let's just get the screw out. So, yeah. So, there we go. And then we got this, uh, this guy in here. And that's pretty much all there is for it. Where that screw went, I don't know. We'll find that in a minute. So, yeah. And this guy in here, as you can see down there. Yeah, this is where you, you, you can buy a heat sink paste. They usually call them heat sink pastes and things like that. And you can repaste it and re glue it back on it. So, and then, and then and that should solve your overheating problems if it is caused by this guy. It's, it's, it's worth always looking for the first, but as you can see in here, we have that chip. I don't even have a solder to re solder it back in, so I'm not going to even bother for the price I paid for it. It's just not worth it. So, probably take some capacitors, definitely resistor. So, uh, so yeah, and that's pretty much what it looks like when it's a strip. These are the three parts inside your amplifier. So another thing what we're going to do, we are going to test if this guy is fully working. So uh, let me quickly strip my, this guy and take his board off and put, uh, put the board onto this one and see what happens. Here we are. So uh, the one thing I definitely want to point out that you can get these boards separately. So every now and then there's a person. Sometimes as well it may because you can, this board is going to go up for sale on the shop in case somebody's board's gone down. This is they only can fit the B series obviously. So uh, make sure that they match and it should work. So uh, I can't see why not. So here we go, so uh, let's unplug this, here we take that one off, to the comparison, the only thing is uh, this guy has got CN7 port on it, and this one doesn't have it, so uh, that's the only difference I can see, so yeah, so let's plug this one back on here, where are we near? Put a screws in. Oh, I take the right ones. So yeah, and then we're gonna plug it all up and test it all, uh, test it all out. See if it is working. So that's the one thing we're gonna do. So depending how this is going, I'll see. And then I might uh, do more of these uh, strip down videos and sort of a uh, testing videos. So I often do on the units that I receive so yeah so here we go so what we're going to do and we're not going to even bother to put in the covers back on so uh, we've got a uh, motor down here uh, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way Oop. so get this this bad boy in the vision so uh, let's plug that on here Put that earth. Oh. I'm not gonna bother with earth at the moment. So uh, plug these guys on it. So we definitely still off. And we test if the board is actually even working. Do that. And we do that. So uh, yeah, let's power up and see what happens. So uh, where are we? Just one. 
And there we go. Looks like every the board is fully functional. It's got now absolutely no issues whatsoever. Can you see this flashing? I know this screen we go. You can see down there. The board seems to work. It's not happy because it's not seen any uh, encoder. So we give him encoder. So let's restart it. And there we go. So uh, that looks like the board is in a full health. So only thing in there. Uh, we still need to do we're gonna uh, quickly uh, run it and test it on our computer with the uh, mr configure it and see make sure the spinning and everything is there so i'll see you on the computer here we are so uh let's uh get mr configure it going guys from uh, i'll leave the video in the description below I already made a video uh, about introduction of wiring about the mr uh, uh, mrj3 drive uh not drives the servos so amplifier so to check out the video in the description below where i talk a bit more about mr configurator where you can find mr configurator on trial version if you want to do this so first thing let's check out it can be jogging is all that function I'm working down there it should do this should be all no problem down there working fine there backwards working fine there and let's go oh not there not there no we don't want to do that let's do it position so let's do let's add a zero in here at 2000 rpm there you go. Seems to work perfectly. There you go. Can't say no more. Looks like everything's going. And the uh, only thing is uh, still to check is uh, make sure that the fiber optic part uh, works to communicating with our controller. Which we're going to be checking. We're going to check. I'm going to check that off of the camera. But other than that, it looks like the servo is imperfect. Uh, not the servo, the actual. Uh, uh, processing board of that server is still in uh, perfect working condition and that is something we are going to be saving and put it in a shop for some uh, lucky customer so uh other than that ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments below if you want to see more like these videos with the, with the industrial equipment being stripped down to the bone showing you what's inside what's not and more or less what to look for and what not look for so uh, yeah so do let me know in the description below and do check out and not description below, I mean comments below. And description below, do check out the links uh, where I'm going to be leaving, where you can see a bit more in detail where I talk about how to wire this drive up and uh, this my amplifier up uh, in, in much more detail in description below. So, if you liked the video, smash that like. If you didn't, smash the dislike, comment below as usual, and I will see you in the next video.